local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. And good morning. I think this has kind of been the story of the week. We have seen every morning just a tad bit warmer than the morning before, and that's the temperature trend that we're on, kind of just warming up a little bit each day. So this morning, it's about three or four degrees warmer than where we were yesterday morning. It's still a great morning, don't get me wrong. But again, we started the week with a cooler than average day on Monday, and we've started to get those temperatures back closer to normal. Now, this morning, we're still slightly below the average. Temperatures this morning are running at around that 60 degree mark as the day begins, give or take a degree either direction. Mid 60s would be a normal late June morning, so we're still a little cooler than normal, though a little warmer than where we were yesterday. Winds are going to be out of the south now, and so we change that whole flow of the air, and with southerly winds, we start to build back the moisture, we start to build back some of the heat. And we start to see that trend of the humidity values feeling just a little warmer than the actual temperature. And so this afternoon, I think we'll be in the upper 80s to around 90, but I think at times it may feel a little more like the low 90s. So it is going to be a hotter day today. Our focus really is going to turn back to the west and off to the north of this area. We've had waves of energy that we've been monitoring along the northern uh, tier of the U.S. and this trailing frontal boundary that waves along it now we're going to start to develop out of the western states. This boundary is what's nearing our area. Where it lands for the weekend has everything to do with what we see. So let me take you with Futurecast. Today, no problems. Tonight, no problems. We're going to start Friday dry. By Friday afternoon, we kind of start to see that boundary near, and that could produce a few thunderstorms on Friday afternoon. Then we're going to jump ahead into Saturday morning because I think we're going to start okay on Saturday for the most part. By Saturday afternoon, we're going to be tracking this same boundary in Saturday night. Right now, models are trying to keep most of the energy south of this area, but the boundary so close that we are going to keep those areas of possibility with us Saturday. And again on Sunday, that boundary is south of the area, but some waves along it have the potential to produce produce some scattered storms this weekend. We'll get into the 4th of July. Excuse me, same ho story holds true where we have again the boundary near and a wave along it. So I want to emphasize this is a tricky forecast, but it means that we're going to keep the chances of some scattered showers and thunderstorms with us really once we get to the weekend for several days after that, meaning precipitation for the first time in a while, looks like it could be slightly above normal, and those temperatures for sure are going to be slightly above normal as we get ready to start the month of July. So today we'll see a daytime high up to about 90 degrees. Winds out of the south southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight a low drops down to about 70. So again, you see what I mean? Little warmer tomorrow, little more humid to start the day. No day will be a washout. Friday, some isolated storms possible. Same for Saturday. I don't know that it's going to be a bad day much of the day on Saturday. And Sunday and Monday, while again we keep those rain chances, neither day will be a washout. We'll keep a close eye on the forecast. You should just understand we are talking about some scattered rain chances for the holiday weekend. All right. Thank you so much.